Hi guys, in today's workout, I have a very special guest with me and I am so excited to be filming my very first at-home workout video here in my channel. And what better way than to kick start it with my soulmate? As many of you know, I have a husband and we will be celebrating nine years of marriage next month. These intimate exercises will literally bring you closer and give you a real workout while you're at it. Do as many reps as you can in 30 to 60 seconds. Without further ado, let's get started with the workout. Here we're doing the kissing push-ups. Place your hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Strengthen your arms and legs and lower your body until you can kiss your spouse. Then push yourself back up and repeat. On this one, stand tall with your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your knees and lower your hips to a squat to grab your partner's opposite hand. Sit all the way down as far as possible. Keep the momentum going. Begin in a high plank position, balancing on your hands and toes facing one another. Make sure your glutes are nice and tight. Next, both partners should lower down into a push-up simultaneously, and then at the top of the push-up, clap right hands together. Perform another push-up, and then clap left hands at the top of the push-up. Aim to keep hips square to the ground when you clap hands so that your core is constantly engaged. With the single dumbbell clean and press, stand with your feet shoulder width apart and a dumbbell between your feet on the floor. Push your hips back as you squat to grab the dumbbell with your right hand, arm fully extended. This one is a total body exercise. This exercise is also known as the thruster. Hold a pair of dumbbells next to your shoulders and stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Squat down until the tops of your thighs are parallel to the floor or as low as you can comfortably go. As you lower, imagine that you're screwing your feet into the floor by actively pressing your ankles lower legs and thighs upward. Your feet won't move, but you'll be creating tension. Push your body up from the squat as you press the dumbbells directly above your shoulders. Your biceps should be by your ears. Lower the weights and repeat. With this barbell rows, unlock your knees. Keep your hips higher than on the deadlift. Lift your chest. Don't drop your hips. Don't squeeze your shoulder blades together. Straighten your back. Take a big breath. Hold it and pull your partner's body weight against your lower chest. Lead your elbows and pull them to the ceiling. Sit back to back with your partner, approximately 12 inches apart. You will be twisting your core from one side to the other, meeting your partner at the same side, slapping each other's hands. Make sure that your abs and core are engaged as you do this movement. Lean against the wall with your feet shoulder width apart and firmly planted on the ground. Put your feet forward, slide down to a wall sit position. With these ones, you will have your partner engage his core. This is a great exercise to help strengthen the hip flexors. At the same time, whenever you bring your knees and your hips up, you also engage the rectus abdominis, which is your six-pack ab muscles. Have your partner extend his legs out into a V. Next, raise your legs even higher and circle at work as your partner brings his legs together and raises them. Circling outward as well. Continue without colliding. 
then reverse directions and circle inward for just as long. Sit facing your partner with about one leg's length between your butts. Then press the sole of your left foot to the sole of his right foot and the sole of your right foot to the sole of his left foot. Try to keep your feet against each other. Lay back with your hands behind your head, elbows out of the sides and have your partner do the same. Next, you both bring your left knees in toward the chest and extend your right legs. As the knee comes in to the chest, lift the head, neck and shoulders up off the ground and twist to reach the opposite elbow to bent knee. Continue to alternate sides, keeping the head, neck and shoulders off the ground the entire time. And finally, we did it guys, we finished the workout. Grab your partner and pick a handful of these moves to perform consecutively. Be happier in your relationship. Fitness can be about you or it can be about you and your partner. So why not share this aspect of your lives, either regularly or just on occasion and discover how doing so might give your relationship a new dimension and new life. I hope you guys enjoy working out with us and I will see you until next time.